guys. Today I'm going to be talking about algae in aquariums and how to get rid of it. Now I'm going to be going over uh, quite a bit of different types of algae in this video. Um, so the first type of algae I'm going to be going over is brown algae. Now you guys know what brown algae is. It uh, usually grows on gravel, um, uh, you know, glass and things like that. And brown algae can be caused by high silicose gravel. So check your uh, check your gravels out. As you can see, this gravel it's um it's not like river stones or anything like that. It's uh, pretty tiny little pebbles. But um some gravel, like my nutmeg gravel that this tank originally had, I didn't know it at the time. It was very high in silicose, and it blew up my tank with algae. So that was the first type of algae I had in this tank. After that, I fixed that problem. I did a good water change. The water turned very dark green. And again, I was doing um, uh, I, I was doing water changes, but they weren't too big water changes. So I took the fish out. I put them in my 20. Then after that, I um, I did a big water change. Got rid of that algae. After that, it was all doing good. Bought some rummy nose tetras. And then this type of algae came. And this type of algae is one of the most annoying types of algae, because uh, no matter what you do, you know, siphon the tank algae still here and it's tempting for a lot of people to use chemicals but I would try not to use chemicals uh, I would only really use chemicals if you're in the worst situation and if you have a hardy fish um, so like uh, if you have a common pleca or something like that then chemicals are a little more safe but I would still highly recommend not using chemicals and just try and do things the natural method no matter what type of fish you have um, so this type of algae I have I've been doing water changes, I've been doing anything on the internet that you read about algae, I've probably already done it. And the tank still looks like this. So I came up with the idea, I was at Petco, and I saw a UV sterilizer. Now for those of you guys who do not know what a UV sterilizer is, pretty soon, if I buy one, I'm definitely going to make a video on how to use them. And a UV sterilizer helps out with algae a lot. And, um... A UV sterilizer would fix my type of algae. So if your algae doesn't go away when you siphon it, it doesn't go go away with really anything. It, you've done everything on the internet and nothing helps. Try a UV sterilizer. And um, for if you're watching this video in um, a little bit when it's a new video, then I'm um, just watching some other guy's video. But I might have a video out on one soon if I get one. Also, I just want to say a big disclaimer. Algae does not affect your fish's health. You see that rummy nose tetra right there? Rummy nose tetras will only have red noses in optimum conditions. Look at how red that guy's nose is. He's doing absolutely amazing in this tank. So um, don't like stress it when there's algae in your tanks. Certain types of algae aren't good to have in your tanks, but the common algae in your aquarium doesn't really matter that much. So um, yeah guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like or dislike this video, preferably subscribe, and need another pickle.